guys, this is Michael from Project A3. Today I will review this 3 i3. First of all, thank you for 3 audio for providing me with this review unit. It is priced around $169 and it comes with very minimalistic box accompanied with this leathery velvety pouch. The 3i3 has 3 driver configuration, You actually it is tri-breed, it has dynamic driver as the base, and then planer as for the mid-range, also balance armature for the treble. Okay, just let's start the review. The build is really robust, with the housing is big and fat, and they feels heavy and made of metal. The MMCX connector feels tight and the cable is twisted and braided and yeah, they feel flexible. Even though it is gigantic, but the fitting is actually really good in my small ears. Nozzle is quite large though. Not every tip could fit this nozzle. When it comes to the sound, I will use my I fix DST as my main source and as for my personal preference is actually the Harman curve. Okay, this i3 is really dependent on ear tips. You see that the gap from the nozzle to the ear tips is actually quite short. And yeah, the sound will change drastically if you change the ear tips like for Example, the normal ear tips with normal gap, for example, final audio, type E, or Acoustun AET 08, or spin fit, yes, it will change the sound drastically. So, for the sound, I recommend you to use the stock ear tips because it is what I'm using right now. Okay, using the stock ear tips, 3i3 sounds Relax and warm with huge sound stage. The bass is really deep, thick, and forward. No matter what kind of song you play, you will always hear that thumping deep bass. Okay, honestly, for some songs, I do feel that it is a tad too much. Because like I said, my preference is Harman Curve like Tense Gym Oxygen or KXSS is my ideal sound. From that point, the 3i3 sounds, uh, the bass is definitely bigger and deeper. But when it comes to the mid-range, I feel that it is cleanly separated from that big sub bass. Okay, I thought that the vocal is actually also warm. But not really, this warmth come from the fat, su fat sub bass and the relaxed treble. While the mid-range itself is actually quite neutral for my ears. Because when I try female vocals like Olivia Ong, Cindy and I mean Cindy Yen has thin vocal actually. And they do sound thin in here. It doesn't get thick. It is thin and sweet here. So I think that the mid-range is actually quite neutral. It's just the bass is big and then the treble is quite relaxed so you get that relaxed atmosphere from this IM. Like I said, the treble is actually quite relaxed and forgiving. I found no strange peaks and although it is relaxed, I don't find it to be congested. It is just relaxed. So when I try violin, flute, they feel relaxed but I don't feel that it rolled off too soon or something like that. It's just, it's just relaxed. It has no peaks like that. Okay, the sound stage is gigantic. Whoa, it expands in all direction. Very impressive sound stage for the price. The separation is also good thanks to its multi driver configuration. And it is quite special actually because here. Actually, I cannot imagine a single dynamic driver sound this relaxed but keep the same level of separation. Now I will compare them with another tribrid at similar price, the Sanfer MT300. 3i3 has 3 driver configuration, tribrid, 
it has dynamic driver as base and then planer for mid-range and also balance armature for the treble while in the M3300 it has dynamic for base balance armature for the mid-range and as as the treble okay they both feels heavy they are actually quite heavy but 3i3 definitely heavier and they do feel premium in my hand but for the connectors only i will give the edge for the mt300 thanks to this locking mechanism i really like this quite kind of uh, mmcx but with locking mechanism like this if you haven't seen the mt300 uh, review i have already posted in this a3 channel too please check it okay for the comparison they sound really different they are the complete opposite actually the bass has much more present and depth in 3i3 in the mt300 they sound the bass sounds faster and tighter but the quantity and impact sounds really sterile compared to the i3 so it's really really different and at the mid-range i think it is more neutral in here also it, it is sweeter and more neutral in the i3 when the mt300 sounds colder with more emphasis in upper mid range with a lot of peaks sometimes in female vocals for the bad recordings you will hear a lot of peak here but the peak in upper mid range in the i3 is not really prominent so it never bothers my ears but sometimes yes i do get annoyed by the upper mid peak of the mt300 the treble is also again really really different the i3 has relaxed treble while on mt300 the treble it has so much energy and it is forward in positioning and yes it could get hot sometimes and the sound stage it is definitely wider and deeper in the 3i3 while you get more height dimension in the mt300 so yes like i said they are total opposite even though they are the they are similarly tribrid at similar price range but the sound is totally different okay so here are the final pros cons and final scores for the 3i3 At the end, the 3i3 is a very recommended IEM for those who search for relaxed IEM with good separation and huge soundstage. So I hope you enjoyed today's review. Please give comment if you have any question. That's all, I'm Michael from Project i3, see you next time, bye bye.